Satu, dua, tiga Action What is up guys? Fahad here with Za once again And today we have um, a helmet comparison video for you guys uh, This is not this is not to say which helmet is good, which helmet is bad mm-hmm. This is just like a comparison video lah I mean, basically this is the most common helmets that we've seen in the Singapore this motorbike landscape that, That's available in the market Ah, yes mm-hmm. ah, and What do you mean common? <laughs> common lah <laughs> <la. laughs> Is there any uncommon helmets? No lah, but commonly seen lah <laughs> for These four types of helmets lah <laughs> uh, I know there's one more modular with but it goes to the back one. That I one is what? LSF. Can't remember the the, the, the model the name. Model but name. It is from the brand <laughs> LS. Alright, so guys, we start with Zaz old helmet ah. Uh, the kiss. <laughs> and <laughs> this is totally really really well used and okay. abused. Okay, Giza, I want to ask you first <laughs> thing. How long have you had this helmet? I passed my license in 2005. I think somewhere in 2009. 2009 or 2010. Huh? I bought this helmet This is the open face helmet uh, mm-hmm. Popular during the 80s and early 90s uh. You mm. know as uh, this helmet uh, The Kiss helmet uh, Actually my uncle, my late uncle He said he had this helmet for the past 15 years He's been riding already mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm like not surprised lah I mean this kind of helmet Usually attracts all the old uncle it's, I mean <laughs> even even younger riders also ride uh, Wear mm. this kind of helmet You know because ah, what? Yeah. Uh, well, number one is economically cheap. Mm. It's definitely comfortable. Have you you have one, right? Before? Yeah, I have one before. Uh, it's yeah. definitely comfortable. It does not really restrict your head, head movement. movement you know? So, with uh. that speaking, youngsters, uh, it gives them a rules of them riding riding mm-hmm. the retro retro bike like the XXR 155 mm-hmm. and the CB 150RX Motion. Uh. Mm-hmm. This gives out a retro look. Uh. <laughs> Complete. I have, I have another <laughs> helmet that really really gives an a retro look. Oh my god! Oh, man, what is one? that? You know, of all the helmets I have, I love this helmet the most. You know, <laughs> because it's super super comfortable. You know, it's airy. If you're riding a if you're riding a cafe racer bike, uh, can uh, If I you know pimp it up with colors, with colors it, or airbrush, ah, uh, airbrush it oh. down. Very nice, you know. And this is the most toughest helmet that I have. Solid, ah. Uh, 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 even the lining is not. Yeah, how old is this helmet? Yeah, I can't remember, sir. Even your PSB sticker also <laughs> faded, really, you know. Faded, yeah. no, my ah, PSB yeah. sticker. <laughs> and surprisingly, this kind of helmet got PSB sticker. <laughs> <laughs> and this one also. This one, mm. this helmet also got PSV sticker here. This helmet is economical, comfortable, uh, airy. It's not so restrictive. So that's the advantages mm. of yeah. it lah. Light and compact lah. I think this mm-hmm. one... Yeah, light and compact. Ah. And especially if you are riding a uh, scooters, right? Mm. This actually really fits well. The other seat storage is, is usually small. Like, mm-hmm. can really fit like this only. Even the Gilera mm. I reviewed recently. Yeah. Can only fit like this only. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, and then uh, um, somehow if you have a box, right, you can actually put two, hel- two, two of these helmets yes. and still have a, f- a lot of space uh, uh, around so, it. You know? Yeah, uh. yeah, you know, right? You don't really need to get a very big, like 42 liter box. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just the small, uh, how many liters? I think 40, 40 30 liter uh. can really. But certainly, this kind of helmet, there's some disadvantages to it. Mm-hmm. Like, like, there's a lot of wind noise and resistance. Uh. The way you're going to wear the helmet, although uh. it is. Like this is supposed to look this way. Ah. Eventually, you'll be riding <laughs> because of the wind, right? You'll be riding like that because uh, <laughs> the wind goes up, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Ah. Because of the wind go up because it naturally will go back. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know how you feel lah because mm. I never really ride with this helmet before, so I cannot <laughs> really describe it on my own words lah. Yeah. yeah, and then and then the visor. Even if you have uh. the visor down, you, you, your eyes will be like somewhere here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Sia lah, this helmet also alamak. The visor also kecil, sia. Huh. Okay lah. And um, definitely this offers the least uh, protection. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's really a half helmet. Mm-hmm. Like, even your ear, below the ear is exposed. I don't mind riding, mm. riding you don't mind nah. I don't mind uh, riding a Harley Davidson wearing this also. Ah, okay, la. <laughs> it gives it a retro look. La. Mm. But I don't think you can go that fast with it. La. Uh, you can just... Uh, <laughs> can just... <laughs> Tired like that. <laughs> Tired, sir. you must go down like that. Yeah. So, mm. usually this kind of helmet, uh, I think, uh, recommended for riders who want the retro look. Uh. We see a resurgence in retro mm-hmm. bikes, mm-hmm. retro riders, mm-hmm. wanting to emulate uh, those 70s and 80s, 60s. It will be more of the open mm. face helmet. 
Mm. The one, the one without all this. Oh really? Yeah. Uh. Uh. That one is more to open face, is it? Yeah. Okay. Later that we will is... go to next point. That one is the next point. Mm. Usually okay. slow and chill riders, ah, uh, would ride this, ah. Uh. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen. I've seen riders super four wearing this one, you know. Oh serious, ah. Uh. And I've seen a GS rider wearing this. Eh, alama tak kena saya. It's kind of yeah. I know lah, but I'm, I'm no, I am, I have no right to question your helmet choices with what with, that goes with what bike you're riding. But mm. really, tak kena. <laughs> That's all I can say. Yeah. All right. So up next, we have the open face helmet. Uh, this is the Trex uh, TG 263. Mm -hmm. You guys can actually get this at Chong Aik. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is Zas helmet lah mm -hmm. that was given by Chong Aik lah. Uh, this is the most common type of helmet in Singapore, man. I mean, yes. almost all the Everybody. rider. I mean, everybody, everybody like, almost everybody. Everybody, everybody, will have, everybody will come across this helmet at one point in their in like, their life. No, or, no obligation about or this. It, or or <laughs> have have worn this, ah. at, or have keep one at least. At least yeah. as a spare, as, as a, a pillion or a spare. Yeah. This helmet widely available in all bike shops. Like. I mean, you you go to the bengkel uh, at the bengkel. Mm. You go to the workshop uh, People they also sell this. In fact uh, you go to the bike shop, you you buy the bike uh, this is the kind of helmet they, they provide you, you know, yeah, as your yeah. first helmet. This is the kind of helmet that mm. sometimes, you know, a bike shop will offer for free. A package. A package. <laughs> you, know, you, buy, you buy a bike and mm. then you get a helmet free or a raincoat free. Ah, <laughs> yes, the free in the package. Mm. Lah, mm. Part, uh. and, and this kind of helmet, uh, those, I mean, those offer freebies, they are very, very cheap. Uh, $40 can get, $30 also can get. $40, $50. Uh. Uh, yeah. And then depending on the helmet also, lah, how expensive it is, lah, the lining mm -hmm. can be removed or not, mm -hmm. and all that. Lah. So like we say, uh, this helmet, all riders will come across this at one point in their lives, which is in Singapore driving schools. Mm -hmm. They will actually use the open face helmet as their starter helmet. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Provided on the on the shelf, lah, which is very busuk. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's sweating, you know. I mean, certain driving center, I don't want to mention, lah, certain driving center, they have a rotation. Like one side, is for that session, that mm. session, that session, this side, that side. So it, it has enough yeah. time to dry, you know. Yes. But this particular driving center mm. that I went to really don't have any <laughs> <laughs> like time slot, no. Mm. I don't know about now lah, but really don't have any time slot. So it's like you I use think the popular one. I think I know which. Ah, uh, that one don't need to say lah. <laughs> so that time I wear alamak oh, basa sial <laughs> and bau, you no. Know. Like you you, yeah, visor, yeah. you put the visor down lah. Because you are you uh. are like what one and a half hours. Mm. The hot sun. sun uh. Even if they spray sanitizer also, uh. but still. All I can say is uh. take care. Uh, and to all you learner, learner, learner riders, uh, and to all you. <laughs> and to all you learner riders, uh, make sure you buy your own helmet first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, right now, uh, most of the uh, bike accessory shops are mm. uh, like Chong Ai. Uh. Uh, Chong Ai actually has a package, you know, for learner riders, mm, you know, yes. which includes a helmet, gloves, uh, mm. protectors. And Apple, then, elbow and knee pads. Uh, elbow, elbow knee pads. <laughs> yeah, and also ring coat. And also, mm. and also triangle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one standby when you buy the bike. Mm. So you guys may consider mm. lah the Trex helmet mm -hmm. lah. The one of the advantages of this mm -hmm. uh, open face helmet is usually it's light mm -hmm. and it's kind of small, kind of compact and airy lah. Do you want the air? Ah, uh, just open the visor. Or if you close the visor, uh, there's space here, ma. Mm. I mean, there's space under here. Yeah, like, it's it's not too too restrictive. Mm. Uh, stuffy as uh, full face or modular, you know. Ah, yes. Sometimes you can get very stuffy. Yes, correct, ah. correct. But this one is for convenience lah, and usually cheap lah, depending on the brand and reasonably lightweight. Do you reckon? Yes, the cheaper brands like those 50, 50 40 dollars. Forty dollars. One ah, kind one, of heavy. That one is a bit, a little bit, a little bit heavy. Yeah. yeah, and usually the lining mm -hmm. not removable lah. Yes, that ah. one no, not ah. removable lah. So that one, uh, my advice usually if you want to buy those very cheap one ah. You are the sole wearer of the helmet lah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Or, or hmm. use that as a pillion helmet. Yes. So you, you wear the better one. Uh, with that, we come to the disadvantage of the open face helmet lah. Which is uh, usually a lot of noise. Like yeah. you say, because this below here is exposed. Mm. So, mm. Um, okay, I do not know about uh, previous, previously, mm. all the helmets that I've one before mm. there are there are a certain degree of wind noise mm. but my current helmet mm. the grey color one i don't want to say the name <laughs> <laughs> you're not sponsored not sponsored <laughs> it is super super damn irritatingly loud you know if you had the chance to own one uh, mm. i tell you it is very noisy 
Alamak. How you wish you can change to another helmet <laughs> <laughs> But but that helmet hmm. is very comfortable Ah, yalah, oh. the lining lah But have you had tried this before? No, I going to make a video Saving this part for, uh, the, for the uh, Unboxing, unboxing. Yeah. Come on, come on And another is advantage is that it offers minimal face protection lah I mean, let's, uh, let's face it guys When this thing open lah if something happens to you a stone fly into your uh, face yes a bat fly into your face <laughs> any a bird worse a bee ah uh, bee yes uh, i cannot sting before sir here so oh also my bad. god oh my god it oh. was like ah oh. then it lebam you know for i think four or five days uh. mm, you know your chin is open mm, yes. exposed mm. uh, you know in an in, a, in an accident mm. you know if it hits here mm. die i mean you you dislocate your Jaw. Chain, jaw or oh. break or you know you bite your tongue mm, something mm. to consider lah yeah. uh, and, so, mm. and then some more for this kind of helmets if it drops most of the time the visor will come off first ah yeah because this part is the what ah uh, loose i uh, don't know loose uh, i will say uh, the weak point uh. maybe the design is like that just mm. upon impact this one will come off it's supposed to come uh, off lah and then uh, worst comes to worst uh, the 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 clip or or the hook or whatever inside there mm. will break ah uh, yes 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 rendering your helmet useless mm -hmm. uh. if you buy track helmet you can go back to chong ai and then mm. get a replacement visor yes as they sponsor <laughs> us that's why we're telling you guys this uh. so recommended for riders who want a cheap common helmet uh. mm -hmm. so definitely uh, no brainer right here uh. yep, and no convenient i mean yes. just grab and go yes. <laughs> you can also nick off another person's helmet <laughs> <laughs> And no frills and fast free lah. This kind of helmet, ah. the open face, regardless of whatever brand lah. Ah. If it is get stolen, ah. you will be angry, ah. you will be annoyed, ah. but only for a short time. It doesn't really impact you lah yeah, because it's it, not that expensive. If the helmet is like what Shoei or Arai, ah. then kena stolen lah. Good luck lah. Mm. Okay, so up next we have the full face helmet lah. I'm actually scared about this helmet because this is a loner. This is a loan helmet from Chong Ai. Uh. So this is the Shoei GTA 2 so, from Chong Ai. Uh, from Chong Ai. This is a loaner from Chong Ai. Uh, so mm -hmm. that's why I'm a bit scared to touch, to actually do anything with this helmet. Uh. And uh, they've mm. kindly uh, borrowed us this helmet for this video. Thank mm. you again, Chong Ai. You know, mm. this is the first time mm. I'm actually holding a Shoei helmet. <laughs> Seriously, seriously, this is the first time and it's super light, sir. Yeah, it's super light. I wish you have a very skill to wear it, but it's... Oh, oh my god, it's even lighter than the modulars, sir. And your half face. Yeah, it's really light. Oh, sir. <laughs> this is slightly heavier than this one. Yes. Wow. So, this is the most uncommon helmet in Singapore. Not uncommon. I wouldn't say rare, so. I wouldn't say... You it, see it sometimes. Most of the time, mm. I see people who wear this full, full face, face helmet uh. are those riding sports bike. Mm. And especially those youngsters. Mm. Youngsters riding sports bike, they will buy this. Mm. I mean... To, to look good lah. To look good <laughs> lah, yes. Usually, they will wear this as a fashion, you know. Mm, because right. it, it fits with the, the bike mm, look. Yeah, look good lah. No, I mean, of course, we, uh, whenever we talk about full face helmet, we talk about safety aspect, right? Mm. No, and the advice usually people will give is dress for the slide, not for the ride. Halai Jah says this one popular with sport bike riders, mm. <laughs> and it's available usually at most premium accessory shop, lah. Yes. And Chok Ai is one of them, lah. They're only ones in Singapore who are carrying showy, you know. Mm. PSB approved. Showy, yeah, showy, yeah. Showy, yeah. I also scared, no, seriously. Advantages about the full face ah, uh, uh, least wind noise and resistance. I mm -hmm. mean, it's really built for long distance fast rides, you know. So definitely, if you don't your ear to like sound like macam the wind go through your ear, mm -hmm. yeah, you're going through a wind tunnel ah, mm -hmm. you can consider this lah. There's so many brands out there, mm. so it depends. It's subjective it's lah. Subjective. Depending on the brand and how good is it lah. Yep. Yeah, and usually full face helmet will offer the best protection lah. Especially those premium brand, ah. they tend to be very lightweight mm. because of their design. The construction uh, the materials used in construction mm. some even use carbon fiber you know mm. uh, that is really really very light mm. and offers very good protection but of course it comes with a price a major disadvantage about the full face helmet i've actually tried a full face mm -hmm. and i it's stifling hot i don't like to wear full face because of that <laughs> it's stifling hot sir i mean there's no way for you to open your visor you open your visor so i mean your chin uh, and <laughs> Your head uh, really gets stifling hot, no? Especially in Singapore, where the weather is a uh, tropical weather. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alamak, I cannot lah. It's a killer. Uh. It's a killer. So mm. that's why I generally 
avoided uh, full face helmets ah. Yeah lah, true lah. Even if you ride with an open visor, the safety aspect of riding with an open visor, you know, hmm. compromises your safety. Mm, flying objects will fly into your eyes. Hmm, yeah, that yeah. is a definitely a danger lah. Hmm. Uh, so like it or not, you have to ride with the visor down. <laughs> <laughs> And mm. uh, usually full face, I have difficulty taking out and putting it in my head. Yeah, especially if, uh, for those wearing glasses. Yes, yeah, you have to take out your glasses, mm -hmm. squeeze it inside your head. Uh. <laughs> but HJC, HJC, I mean HJC helmets. Mm. I love I love HJC helmet because of what? There is a, a glasses friendly. Taking and out your glasses without mm. uh, being too uncomfortable oh, or being tight, you know. Well, maybe if we can wear the showy, mm -hmm. uh, if we can wear it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this is size S. Oh, size Who's S. Small? I'm sorry. I also cannot wear. I size M. <laughs> so I also don't want to wear because this mm -hmm. is a loner. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you can wear, we we'll definitely try it on the showy. Yeah, la. definitely. Uh, yeah. Yes. Another disadvantage, right? If you want to talk, mm. your voice will be muffled. Oh, muffled, you know? yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. yes. this, one, this one is still okay, but there are some helmets that actually like cover this, this part, part of the mouth. Uh. So, if you want to talk or you want to scream or you want to, uh -huh. you're pissed off at the, the, the driver, <laughs> then you want to, you scold, want to swear at him. Uh. <laughs> oh, and then the driver is like, Apa, sir? Oh, hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> this one, unfortunately, mm -hmm. when you go to the driving center uh, for newbies, uh, the driving center don't allow you lah to wear this. Even class 2A and class 2 also, they don't allow mm -hmm. to wear full face. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are, and they actually force you to get the the helmet, helmet at the rack lah. <laughs> Their own helmet, which is... Mm. Uh. <laughs> hey, you know, mm. when when I was taking my 2B, uh, uh. Uh, there is this guy, actually, mm. he was wearing a motocross helmet, you know. Back then, lepas lah. Oh, back then, uh, I think the instructor not that strict. Yeah. Uh. I think he damn lucky. Uh. I think, uh, I mean, uh, damn lucky is one thing. I think, uh. I mean, we already know that what kind of uh, bike he was going to ride after he oh, passed. Yeah. Scrambler. Scrambler. Uh, back then, it's like XR125, uh, uh, XR200. Our recommendation for the full face mm -hmm. is riders wanting full protection. Uh, like Isa says yes. just now. The full face is actually the best helmet for motor vloggers. Mm. Almost every motor vloggers out there, when they record the videos, they wear full face helmet. Mm, yes, uh, because wind noise, there's mm, no wind noise lah. In the case of Sharebi, because he's using a proper panda band, mm. where he put the mic. position, the mic, yeah. Uh, yeah. it gives him an advantage lah. Mm. Uh, that's why you see, can still hear his voice very clearly. Mm, yes, uh. I don't agree. Proper panda, very good bike lah, because I also using it. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely uh, gives off a stylish and racer look mm -hmm. I mean, if you guys love MotoGP, uh, in my case, I love NASCAR. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would like to wear a full face helmet because of the style. <laughs> if, it, if it's not that hot, uh, I would I would I wouldn't mind wearing it actually. Ah, so can you imagine mm. those uh, motorsports racers driving F1, mm. NASCAR, mm. and mm. all the motorsports with WRC, motorsport. uh, yeah. all that. Our uh, WRC they special one. Oh yeah, <laughs> they, were, they actually wear open face, huh? Ah, yeah, they were an open face, but ah. with uh, like something like a a, a chin a guard, chin, not a chin guard. More like that one is for the microphone. Oh, intercom. Uh, ah. Most of the motorsports wear full face, you know, for the protection. And mm. but can you imagine the amount of heat they have to take? <laughs> yeah, lah. But it looks good, lah. It definitely mm. looks good on you, lah. Yep, yep, yep. So we have finally come to the final helmet, which is Zaz's personal helmet, mm -hmm. uh, And uh, this is the Vema Shaki. Vimar. Uh, Vimar, sorry. Vimar Shaki. You can get this at Chok Aik. But and company already closed down. Huh. No wonder I cannot find the website. Then when uh, the director, Mr. Tay of Chong Ai, uh, he said the company closed down already. Oh, hmm. no wonder. Yeah, so whatever Chong Ai has left, that's the last of yeah. it. Lah. Yeah, yeah. But, that, but don't worry, they still have a lot of stock because mm. they are servicing some of the law enforcement bodies. Yeah, sticky law enforcement bodies. Uh, the modular helmet is very popular with traffic police, mm -hmm. uh, auxiliary police, mm -hmm. LTA, mm -hmm. and also the military police. Uh. My first impression when Zach got this helmet, he wear it. Eh. The TPs, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, this has the best of both worlds, ah. Full face and open face. Mm -mm. Ah, yes. Yeah. I mean, you can ride with the the chin up, mm, right? Yes. Uh, but then it will be like <laughs> <laughs> you're riding at high speed. Yeah. This one actually will impede you. Uh, you know, uh, pull you back. You uh, know, the wind resistance is uh. high, lah. Yeah. Usually the modular helmets is available at most. 
uh, premium bike accessory shop lah mm-hmm. like chong ai lah mm-hmm. uh. <laughs> saya promote kau-kau saja kita advantage about the modular eh. mm-hmm. so offers the best protection yes. when the chin bar is down this is called a chin bar by the way eh. mm-hmm. so if it's hot for you just leave up the chin bar yes. but the only time ah uh, whereby when we're riding at high speed ah uh, mm-hmm. and uh, i actually put down my and it's hot ah uh, i actually put down my chin bar you know where not thailand <laughs> Uh, when we are riding in Thailand, one thing I did not know that uh. April is mm. a hot season, you know. And so we are riding like through forest fires. Do you remember uh. we are riding forest bush fire, yes. bush fire everywhere? And, and we like uh. do 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 do. Oh, nice, ah, uh, nice, ah. Uh, but in the afternoon fire, sun, you know, fire. Uh, you know. But I tell you, in the afternoon sun, who oh, you open the helmet hot lah, sir. I rather put down. <laughs> Open hot, put down stuffy. Open hot, put down stuffy. This advantage about the modular helmet ah, uh, usually is heavy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um. It's it's this is much much heavier than hmm. the full face. Hmm. This is like 1.6, no. I think they show you just now. It's like 1.2, 1.1, 1.2. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. Yeah, correct. Uh, very light. This is very this is heavy. The, this is the heaviest among them all lah. Uh, yep. Speaking because you know why it's heavy, you know? They need to uh, accommodate for the mechanism for the modular thing lah. Uh, uh, yeah. If you have the spare cash, hmm. you buy the Shoei Neotech, hmm. right? It's super light. <laughs> I was like, eh, hey, siapa ringan siapa? <laughs> But of course, I mean, it comes with a price also lah. Speaking of the mechanism, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Usually, the mechanism uh, over time will wear off. After a while, ah, the thing, the the chin bar go down, no. Mm-hmm. Like for some reason, you you flip up, but you flip up, ah, it go down. Okay. Uh, so you have to lock the yes. chin bar in place. Yes. Uh, hmm. For those of you new riders who may not be aware that this modular helmets they have a, a locking mechanism, you know, hmm. just to put the chin bar, uh, just to lock the chin bar so that uh, they will not go down. Hmm. Yes. Correct. Uh, Otherwise, if you don't, if you don't, uh, I mean, over time this this okay. mechanism right uh, will, will wear off lah. Wear off lah. La. Now it's still okay, but over uh, time because you know, it's still new. Uh, uh, over time you will wear off. So there is actually a locking mechanism. In other brands, uh, they got different position lah. But hmm. basically, all they have same thing: a locking mechanism to prevent this from locking down. Uh, speaking of the mechanism ah, uh, uh, this uh, is quite difficult for you to put uh, like other accessories on the helmet lah. Like mm-hmm. you have to put intercom system. You need mm-hmm. to run through the wires because of its unique uh, design ah. Uh, the padding ah uh, is very weird configuration one. Uh, so I think there's some difficulty to put the intercom system inside the helmet lah. Uh, personally, to me, uh. yeah. Uh, what when you say uh, positioning of uh, any any accessories hmm. that needs to be fit to the helmet, hmm. you have to consider the shape and then you know hmm. if like. If like the full uh, open face helmet, mm. you know, you can you know where to put. Okay, you just put, put here, here. pump, uh, right, yeah. and it will stay there. If mm. you have a full face helmet, mm. lagi like, best. Same thing. <laughs> you can just you you can put anywhere, right, uh, yes. in front here, and don't have to worry about it. Mm. But in in the case of a modular helmet, mm. you actually need to uh, judge, you know, mm. so oh, that you don't you don't you don't. Here. As you can see, Zaz GoPro mount uh, is really behind here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because because of the position of the the chin mm. bar mm. and the shape uh, contour of yes. the helmet, ah, uh, that makes me have to put way behind. behind. Uh. So on the vlogs, you can see there's certain part of the helmet that is on the mm-hmm. showing on the video, lah. So our recommendation usually riders wanting a helmet with good protection mm-hmm. and that is also airy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so basically, the best of both worlds, mm-hmm. uh. And in my personal opinion, ah. Uh, This is the best for touring. <laughs> When I have the money, I will buy a Shoei Neotech. Actually, me too. Uh, I will for, buy. For I will consider. Touring, uh. We have come to the conclusion of um, the helmet, uh, so-called uh, overview. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, in your opinion, which is the best helmet? <laughs> in my personal opinion, my personal favorite lah, uh, will still be the open open face. Uh. Open face lah. Uh. I still like the open face because mm. of uh, its airiness. Mm. It's not so stifling. It's easy to maintain. You don't have to fumble with. Chin bars going up and down. Mm. For me, I like the modular. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has the best of both worlds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but this is our personal preference. But for you guys, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, exactly. It's up to you because as long as PSB approve, mm. uh, you just go buy only. <laughs> so for you guys, uh, the helmet you're gonna choose, uh, you may consider individual mm-hmm. preferences and yeah. requirements lah. Yes. Uh, helmet brand. I mean, if you like Shoei, go for Shoei lah. Mm. Don't talk so much lah. If people say this good, I good. But you like you still actually you go for Shoei lah. Ah, yeah, uh, uh, and provided you can afford lah. Mm. 
you don't if you don't have cannot afford the showy you can just buy a shoe helmet tips ah uh, avoid buying used or second hand helmet mm-hmm. uh, because you don't know what the helmet may have gone through uh. Yeah, uh, I mean, some, some, sometimes mm. you search on carousel, uh, they, they will say, oh, no funky smell. Uh, cheap. Uh, cheap. Uh, uh, right, uh, use, use only ones. ones. Uh. <laughs> it's, 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 it's up to your discre- uh, discretion. Uh. If mm. you think you can believe the, the seller you want to buy, mm. go ahead. Yeah. I mean, we are not stopping you. Mm. I mean, especially for those on a tight budget. Mm. On a tight budget, uh, uh, these kinds of uh, home offers is really really attractive lah mm. especially sometimes they sell they are selling showy at like what half the price of the original mm. price ah mm. even and then they say they only use once or twice mm. uh, so I, it's up to you it's up to you lah but then mm. then again you don't know what happened maybe may have been through mm-hmm. the person may have dropped the helmet so this actually uh, will affect the structure uh, integrity of the helmet lah mm-hmm. uh, so in terms of safety wise it may render the helmet useless lah mm-hmm. according to industry standards you know it recommended that helmets should be replaced every five years mm-hmm. uh, yeah. but this is according to this standard lah. I don't know how long that ZA has has uh, that, that helmet though. I think this one about 20 years really. <laughs> like, three years anyway ZA doesn't wear that lah. so yeah yeah I don't I don't really wear this but you know if I, uh. I did you remember I told you about our uh, this monkey run Morocco uh, yeah, correct. that I wanted to do. Uh, do right this monkey run Morocco is actually a bike trip mm. from Marrakesh to somewhere uh, mm. I can't remember but you ride a monkey bike one week plus journey uh. so i was thinking if i were to go for that mm. i'm going to wear this <laughs> i'm going to bring this so helmet care so our recommendation uh, get a helmet that so, can actually remove the inner lining yes so you can wash uh, mm. and i mean dry it properly so it won't stink yeah especially if you're delivery personnel you're working under yeah. the hot sun can take a toll on your uh, skin uh. skin your yeah. head and then your helmet will sting a lot of mm. how to say uh, jerawat uh, uh, people <laughs> like me last time when so, i first wear mm. Mm. or you can get one of those uh, helmet care products mm. like liquid molis helmet care product like mm. helmet, helmet interior cleaner, cleaner. Mm. right and then this will have the, the visor cleaner mm. yeah you can get this from liquid molis uh, online store and don't forget to use our promo code yeah, for support us ah, support us ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll come to the next point which is our helmet storage ah. so basically this helmet you can store anywhere uh, but if you put it on top of the bike ah, Mm-hmm. Do consider a helmet lock lah. I mean yeah. nowadays we, we always hear uh, people helmet, helmet uh, even cheap cheap helmet also kena sih. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Helmet definitely. Uh. <laughs> so you may consider this lah. Hmm, this uh. is the helmet lock uh. by Chong Ai. Uh, if you buy helmet from them, you can also buy this as well. Right? Mm. It really really actually helps, you know. Yes, uh, correct. And, and, and especially if you are have this kind of helmet sports bike don't have box right ah uh, yeah usually uh, don't have box uh. usually uh, the riders would like to carry show off uh, but then <laughs> you carry like Penat very yeah. Tools, yeah. very troublesome, uh, very troublesome. You know. the only option is mm. uh, either you have a bag that you can put the helmet mm. or you can just put it on the bike mm. and lock it yeah so Chongai also sell this helmet lock they're mm. very cheap use combination doesn't use the key so if you guys storing it at home right you may consider getting uh, a helmet rack uh, you know do, mm. they have those if you look look around on shopee at lazada mm. aliexpress they have those wall helmet racks yeah. or maybe you have a shelf uh, like those ikea shelf huh? yeah. <laughs> those who like to collect helmet huh? uh-huh. they put the arai helmet like that huh? oh, <laughs> dedicated shelves <laughs> yeah. dedicated racks you know mm. there's also those helmet base mm. right like this one you can just put put the helmet on on top you know Ah, uh, yes, correct. To prevent it from falling, or you can sometimes I use this this thing hmm. to to pull like that. Uh, I notice also. Mm. <laughs> to to, you mean to let the the heat and the sweat ah uh, evaporate? Mm. Uh, so yeah, this is a very good good uh, accessory to uh, have lah. And if you got money ah, uh, you mm. can buy those with the fan. Mm. And also UV sterilizer. Mm, yes, the one if you got money lah, don't have so much money, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's optional. Cheap. It's some cheap. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so final words. Uh, at the end of the day, a helmet is just a safety gear, mm-hmm. and to it's to reduce impact in case of accident lah. Mm-hmm. It's not guaranteed to save your life. Uh, safe riding habits yes. will help lah. Uh, uh-huh. This one just to absorb whatever impact that it can. So if you guys are thinking of purchasing any of these helmets mm. right showy tracks or vmar mm. or gpr artec 
Mm. No, it's available at Chong, right? Mm. Hey, Zha and Farhan are getting to commercialize us. <laughs> yes, uh, um, this is paid for, man. <laughs> Aren't you guys happy that we have all these sponsorships? Mm-hmm. Uh. Yeah, I mean, with more sponsorship, we mm. can bring more better content. Mm, for you guys, uh. Uh, but really want to thank Chong Ike for, for these helmets, la, including for the loaner. <laughs> yes. You can go drop by to Chong Ike at 45 mm. Desker Road, take a look selection mm. of their so, helmets. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it for the vlog. Uh, any riders who want to review their bike with us, you can touch us on our social media pages below. If you have any comments or suggestions, feedbacks, put them in the comment section below. Like and share this video with your riding kakis and don't forget to subscribe. And that's it for the vlog and we will see you in the next one. Okay. Give me